Hi, I'm Tash. And hey, I'm Mix. Welcome back to the podcast. Glad you guys are here. <laughs> Another long work week. <laughs> you know, actually, it was not too bad this week. It was kind of a blur. <laughs> like, I was kind of ready for Christmas to come, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, at this point, I'm in the Christmas spirit, so. What about you? My week was, it was actually pretty busy. Mm. My work is, like, starting to pick up, but it's still chill for the most part. I swear, working from home was, like, the best thing to come out of. We should Corona. keep this uh, yeah, yeah. going. Like, yeah. I wish we could, but have they talked about sending you guys back to the office? So, they don't. A don't ghost. Want to it's a ghost. <laughs> they, this place might be haunted. <laughs> they don't plan on sending us back to the office until April. But since I have this new job, I won't be going back. Because okay. all we have here in Houston is like our claims people. So since I'm in HR now. <laughs> I won't be going back. Yeah. Because there is no HR office here. We're thinking of, well, right now, it's going to be, like, selective. They've moved people. I'm sure they're building, like, probably, like, little whatever. You know how you go to the restaurant now and there's, like, like plexiglass or whatever. But it's going to be sort of, like, contingent upon who feels comfortable, whatever. So I'm actually kind of – I'm not looking forward to going back into the office because that's how you get sick. I've been least sick this year than I ever have been. So, you know what I mean? Like – Kind of goes to say something, so yeah, yeah. You know what I've seen this week on Instagram? Mm-hmm. Well, I've actually seen it like the past two weeks. Is this whole Summer Walker thing? Oh my goodness! With her and what's the name? London. London on the track. track. Yeah. <laughs> I honestly, I've never heard of him until their relationship. Like, I never knew yeah. who he was. But yeah, apparently, I guess now she's pregnant. Before that, they were on and off, and when they were off, she was writing paragraph messages on Instagram stories, and fuck that nigga today, and then the next day, we'd see them holding hands, yeah, and then love, park and love, and, yeah. and I mean, like, the first thing I can say is, like, never blast your business on the internet, you yeah. know what I mean, because I, I, like, again, as uh, frequent clown <laughs> experts here, um, you know, you just don't put yourself on the internet <laughs> because then when you get back together, you look like an idiot. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, a complete idiot. so to me, like it, the whole thing is toxic, like from him, like she's blasted him on a lot of different things. His baby mothers have whatever. And like, she's, I feel like she has egg on her face at this point too, because she's talked about the baby mother is being bitter and blah, blah, blah. But, like, then here you are, though, now doing the exact same thing that you accused well. them of. You know what I mean? Like, she wrote this whole thing. And I, I, was, I thought it was so heartfelt about, like, how basically, like, the childhood trauma has manifested itself into the, the person she's with. And then you go back with it. Like, why did you yeah. even talk about it? And then it was, like, she wrote something about, like, I was always trying to convince you to spend time with your kids. Like, this is, why are you pregnant by him now? Correct. Why would you even want to be with somebody you have to convince that them happens. to spend time with their kids? You know what I've seen something about that? Like, it says something about the men, they only, like, not all men, but these certain type of men are only in a situation where it benefits them. So, if the baby mother doesn't be with them anymore and they're done with their nonsense, then they're also subsequently done with those children. You know what I mean? And, like, you shouldn't, me personally, I would never want to be with somebody who doesn't take care of their children. Like, what does that say about me having a child with you, you know? Yeah. I mean, there are really great black men out there that are great fathers, you know, and they want to be great fathers. And mm-hmm. you can, if, if, sis, if he's showing you, like, he doesn't, that's not who he is, then you should believe him. Yeah. You don't get pregnant. I hate that, like, people like him and, like, people like Future are, like, highlighted in the media and that's, like, what people see as, like, the black father when there really is a lot of great black fathers out there. Like, they are not... And they are in the home. I mean, of course, they skewed statistics, of course, in their favor to make us look bad. But, no, I mean, it's true. There are so many great examples. Like, we share that every day. Like, oh, my God. Like, look at this this dad with his son. And, you know, but I, I hate that, too, you know, like, Toxicity is not gender specific. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Both of them are toxic. Okay, mm-hmm. period. Like, it's, I, I bet you that a D is bomb or something because I just don't understand. Be, yeah, like, bare minimum, I'm <laughs> I hope at least she's getting that out of this situation mm-hmm. because what's he have like three baby moms? Yeah. And what what makes you come into a situation if somebody has three baby moms and you're like, I'll be the fourth? <laughs> Sounds like a good idea. <laughs> like, I always wonder that with people. Like, 
Like, what's her name? Yaya Mayweather? She's another one, like, Maybe yeah. a young boy, whatever his, one of those young boys. I just don't understand. Yeah, like, ten baby mothers, and now she's pregnant by him. Yeah, and, and there's got to be something broken inside of people who continuously make these, like, chains and break them and, and keep making them. And, and you know, like, just because you have enough money to have all these children doesn't mean that you should. Yeah. I don't know if it's like an addiction or what the situation is, but it's it's just a brokenness that needs to be fixed. You know what I mean? Like, because what are you essentially teaching your children? You know, yeah. I don't know. I just hate that. Like in our culture, in our world, it's like it's okay for the men to be this way. You know, but if a woman has three baby fathers, she's trifling. She's this. She's that. But if a man has, you know nine kids with eight or seven women you know you're banging his new cd you know what i mean like <laughs> thanks <laughs> like what not cool not cool at all i mean we can't fault summer walker because i mean we both have our own little toxic traits yeah. about us i know not like that but you know i think everybody I has their little, bad. Their little toxic you know things about them i feel like you have to just grow out of that toxicity um but i know like for example me like, I'm going to talk about some of my toxic traits, like, that I realized, like, yeah, Nicole, like, get it together. Like, I know one of my things is, you know, I'm relentless with the bullshit. Like, I will keep some shit going and going and going. Like, seriously. And I don't even realize, like, I'm the only person playing this game. You know what I mean? Like, like until, like, like, you have to, I feel like you do have to, in order to be with me, you do have to be like, Nicole, stop your bullshit. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh, you're right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, okay, you're right. I need to stop. But I will drag some shit till the next day. I, like, the next week, I'll be like, um, I'll still be sitting there with ass. Like, what's wrong with Nothing. <laughs> and there really won't be too much wrong. Yeah. I don't know what the hell is wrong with me, but sometimes I don't realize, Nicole, what the hell is wrong with you? Like, sometimes you'll tell me stuff, and I don't even say anything. I'll just be like, Nicole? Yeah. Her and my sister. Just give you silence. <laughs> Her and my sister, yeah. she'll, my sister will just be like, go to hell and hang up. Because <laughs> she already knows. Like, I'm like, you right. I used to not listen, but now I do. I used to be like, I don't even know what he says. Like, and then I'm like, okay, you got to care, Nicole. Like, yeah. Let it go. So that's one of mine. Mm. I feel like one of mine that I tend to do is like, I'm the type of person that's like, I'll be mad about something, but I won't like say that I'm mad. And so I'll just kind of let it like, just kind of like fester inside of me and then one day it'll do something really small <laughs> and I'll like blow, blow up or maybe I'll sprinkle a little bit of like passive aggressiveness on you from time to time. Mm-hmm. And it'll mm-hmm. kind of be like, dang, what's wrong with her? Time. But I'll just keep saying nothing and I feel like, yeah, I need to communicate better. Like yeah. you can't just assume people like can read your mind or they know that they upset you. Correct. Because I used to be like, why don't you know I'm like upset? you big dummy like it's obvious to me it should be obvious to you correct it's not, it's not especially with men like they literally don't know they're oblivious to quite Pretty a lot everything. except for the bitches and ADM <laughs> yes except for that <laughs> no I agree with that one you have to you have to like you can't wait until it builds up and yeah. then at that point they're not even gonna care about what you're upset about now they're mad at you because you're going off on them and their, their feelings are probably hurt, etc. So yeah, it's, it's a good thing not to let it build up because communication is key. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. I know like another one of my toxic traits, well, you know, I still don't have too many, but like kind of when you said like, you don't ignore, or I said, you don't ignore them bitches and your DMs, that's me. Like, let me talk that about That was story. that toxic coming out in that movie. <laughs> That's me, like, they'll be like, oh, Nicole, do you remember when we went to the beach? I'm like, uh, wrong bitch. <laughs> like, <laughs> wrong person, you know, just out of line, like, no reason to even do that, you know what I'm saying? Like, literally no reason at all. That's one of my, my big ones. Oh, you must have me talking about me, or, you know, for, like, for no reason. Like, yeah. we'll be having a great time. I, I, like, why do I do that? Like, it's, it's like nobody, Nicole. Wrong bitch. Exactly. Like, you must have been that other bitch <laughs> you was talking about. You know what I'm saying? Like, what? Oh, God, Nicole. I'm so, like, nitpicky. I think it's because, like, I've been single for a really long time. Yeah. So, like, I'm used to doing my own thing, being, like, really independent or whatever. So when I am talking to somebody and, like, maybe he, like, 
stays over a lot of nights. Like, it'd be the little thing that, like, bothers me. I remember one guy, we'd stay the night together, and it was, like, in the morning, I was, like, brushing my teeth. And I'm used to, like, being in the bathroom by myself, you know, doing my thing. And I'm really, like, particular about my bathroom, too, like, super picky about it. Yeah. While I'm brushing my teeth, he comes in and washes his hands. And when I tell you that pissed me off, irritated me to the max, like thinking about it. <laughs> it's <you> like, like <laughs> <laughs> I was like, like thinking about it is like putting me back there in that place. And I'm just like, what? Like, you couldn't wait like five minutes for me to finish. And I'm like, <laughs> you know, I need to chill. It's not that serious. Like, I need to just. Just a little bit. Yeah. Like, what? Did yeah. I, I remember you talking about that guy, like the clothes, like guy you dated. Um, and his clothes are on the ground. And I, was, I can just imagine like smoke coming out of your ears. I was like, like oh wow, you pay right here? Cause your clothes on the floor. <laughs> you that and I was like, that's <laughs> oh, no. He would leave like wrappers in cer- certain places. Like, I didn't yeah. eat. I'm like, oh, my, I, did I have a son? Am I in <laughs> I would be like confused. Like, oh my god, that is so I'm like, funny. so you don't see the trash can right over there? Yeah, it's stuff like that that like really irritates me. You, so the thing is, you know, you're going to be like that. Like, eventually, when you do date somebody and you guys get serious and then you guys end up moving in together, um, you it's going to be an adjustment. You know what I mean? Because there's going to be things that you are going to do that get on his last nerve and vice versa. And it's just really much, mostly about, can you just let it go? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, some things are not necessary. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's not that serious. It's just, you know pick up or do this or do that and sometimes to be honest with you like pride has a lot to do with certain things like just pick it up yourself you know what I'm saying like if it's that serious and it really irritates you just do it yourself you know the best example I can say is that I seen this thing on like Facebook or something a long time ago and it was talking about a man who complained about all these things that his wife was doing another man got on there and commented and was like why don't you just do it and he's like like what he's like think about it right he was like, um, you're the man of your house, right? You, you're supposed to lead by example. He's like, so, guess what I did? I just started doing it. I would pick up the clothes off the floor and start the laundry. I would do this, I would do that. And guess what? My wife then noticed it, and then she started doing it. Because I took that. Oh, he got a wife? Oh, yeah. I'm about to be like, is he single? Like, no. Yeah, he he screenshot his name? It was, no. <laughs> he was married, so he's, you know. Of course I, don't, I think she could fight, you know what I mean? Oh, okay. okay. I um, can't fight, but I can try. <laughs> might have to have to tussle okay remember when they were asking if Morris Chestnut's wife could fight <laughs> like, what? people are so ignorant can she? I know right question. man that's a beautiful black man mm, beautiful I've loved him since I was like 16 or something but yeah. yeah um but yeah I mean that's a good example of putting your pride to the side instead of puffing out your chest and being like whatever just do it and then she'll leave by if she, she sees that leave by example yeah. so I like what he said Y'all want to lead so much, lead. Exactly. Lead then. Lead, lead these lead dishes. Lead away. <laughs> <laughs> lead this laundry. Like. <laughs> Do you believe in typical gender roles? No. Okay. Unless. Why fuck you? Okay, <laughs> I'm about to get a little bit hypocritical. I do think if, and not even like a gender role, like if my husband's working and I'm a stay-at-home mom, then yes. Yeah. I should be doing the cooking and cleaning. Well, I would have to learn how to cook first and then I could do the cooking. <laughs> The cleaning and like stuff like that. Yeah. But if I'm working and he's at home, you having a penis don't omit you from doing that. No. Because now the situation reversed. Like if I'm bringing the money and you're just at home, then you should be doing the cooking and the cleaning. I agree. So. And I feel like if you expect your spouse to um, also have a job and then get off work and then take care of kids and then take care of the household, how do you think she's going to like? There are people who literally, in my opinion, are kind of wired that way you know like they this is what their job is this is what they're supposed to do and it's something that maybe they have they've seen in their past and that's what they want to do they just want to be subservient I guess in, in a way um personally I live that life it's no fun for me you know what I'm saying so I just feel like you have to be you just because you're a man should not like exclude you from doing other things like just because you're a man doesn't mean oh I don't have to do the laundry today or, like I remember one time we got into it over the dishes and because I'd already, by the way, I worked, came home, I was putting the baby in the bath, I already cooked dinner, I'm doing all this stuff, the dishes are saying, he's like, well, I don't have any clean dishes. I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, like, are your, are your goddamn hands broke? You know what I'm saying? Like, what the hell? And I'm like, you act like women just wake up every day, like, I just love the dishes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like, what? 
<laughs> it made me what stop was that. <laughs> I get a little extra sometimes when I make it a point. But I, that's, like, that's literally what I did. I was so irritated. I was like throwing my hands up on the dishes. Like it was, I was so done. But I'm like, just because we were born female, you know right. what I'm saying? Does it mean we're like, oh my God, I fucking just love dishes. You know does what I'm saying? Does the bottom of my foot say she does laundry? Exactly. <laughs> like, did, like, can you not help out? You know, they act like doing like outside work is an, a daily thing. Like, well, I mow the grass. How often? The car needs to be fixed. Are you a mechanic? No, you take it to a mechanic. You don't do, like, based off of what, like, studies show that stay-at-home moms especially work so much, you know? Even the stay-at-home mom needs a break, too, you know? Yeah. So I just feel like I'm not with the traditional gender roles. I feel like if I'm also paying half these bills, then you're doing half of the stuff at the house, like, yeah. period. Like, period. Help each other out. That's what we're supposed to be doing here. Yeah. Otherwise, I could just be single. Like, what's the point? But, mm. Back to toxic traits. <laughs> um, we got way off subject. Okay, <laughs> we did. I know, especially when I was dating before, I was a do as I say, not as I do type of person, meaning I was that person that had the audacity to get an attitude with the guy if he was talking to other people, knowing good and damn well I was talking to other people. Like, that used to be like, nickel. Right. <laughs> like, Last weekend, though... <laughs> Weren't you out? Right. <laughs> like with somebody else? I'm like, that doesn't matter. Or like, I don't know what was the issue with that, but I was definitely like that. I was just like, I don't know. I had the audacity to get irritated or any, I should have no feelings about that because it's not fair, you know? And it took me some time to realize that. <laughs> Are you still trying to I'm realize that? I'm still trying to realize that. <laughs> But no, I did. I'm like, uh, and now I don't get an attitude with them over it. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, we are dating somebody now, but yeah, before I would have a whole attitude of sad. Like, I have no reason to be. That's not cool. Like, come on. <laughs> what about you? I feel like, and partly it's not my fault because I can't help it. I was born an emotional Pisces, so it just is what it is. You know. <laughs> I could like be dating somebody and see like a picture of you and like a girlfriend from a decade ago and feel offended. Like, <laughs> how, how dare you date somebody before you met me? Like, didn't God tell you I was the one? So why did you even waste your time up until this point? Exactly. I just be like, like I don't want you. Then just like just when I see him, I'm just kind of like, exactly. Like, like I feel like you were cheating in a way because who does that? <laughs> That's very toxic, actually. It really is. <laughs> yeah. I've learned to, like, okay, that's a little immature, like, you know. Ooh, have you ever scrolled through and seen, like, an ex-girlfriend and was like, ew. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, but then I'm like, okay, like, Wait a minute, am, am I kind of ugly, too? Like, I don't, like, because clearly <laughs> both of us are your type. But I'm like, uh, most of the guys I've dated have had, like, pretty ex-girlfriends. I like that better. And I'm like, oh, okay, you like, you like bad bitches. <laughs> so, awesome. so that makes sense. You came across this yeah. bad bitch right here, so now you found the baddest. So <laughs> you can stop now. <laughs> I don't. Mm, I've seen that before. Like I, I definitely screenshotted an ex and sent it to you. Like, girl, yeah. What? <laughs> like, what is this? Like, but I mean, I know people love people for regardless, no matter the reason. You know what I'm saying? He so, is in the eye of the beholder. Okay. Sometimes you just met somebody in high school and, you know, in your little town of 500. And, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That was, he might not have been cute back then either. So then, like, I mean, because it happens, man. Mm. Mm-hmm. Look, I know it like that. You know, like the eighth grade, I had a boyfriend. I look goofy as fuck. I, I must have had an amazing personality because every time I look back at those pictures, I don't I'm know. just like, yeah, I needed to grow into some things. Same. I think I like had the big ass eyes. I mean, I still do, but <laughs> um, I feel like, especially back then, you know, you have to grow into your features, like big old lips, big old eyes, like girl. But I think I always thought I was cute. I don't know. Like, <laughs> I feel like ever since birth, I was like, oh my god, look yeah. at me, <laughs> like you know. So I feel like I've always been like that. I have one eighth grade picture, like I like hate with a passion, and my grandma insists on like keeping a copy. <laughs> and I remember so one time I thought I got rid of like all of her copies and she still like oh. had one. 
and I look greasy as fuck in this picture. She bumped my bangs too much. Period. Where I had the bang, the bang, yang. I had all of that. I told her to like leave them straight. She like gave me the whole big smooch. Anyway, yeah. and sent me like that for like picture day. Did she put a roller so on it? Like the phone roller with the pink. Yes. Uh, <laughs> like the <laughs> Your grandma wasn't playing. She she played me. I was like, I always want to bang. I always wanted to bang, like always. Really? Always. I get, my hair was always I like had a bang super long. Like, I don't think I stopped having to bang until like tenth grade. grade. I know you fucking lying. Yeah. Like, oh, what? I had it wasn't like a swoop, but it was just like a flat oh. bang. Oh, okay. Yeah. I lost the swoop, got the side, okay. and then eventually okay. I got rid of it all together. Yeah. Okay. My grandma used to be like, and she was so long for this. I'm like, who said this? I didn't want the bang. She'd be like, but you got that forehead, though. I'm like, ah. <laughs> okay, but maybe I want people to see my forehead. Like, rude? <laughs> my grandma wow. is a blunt. I've just gotten used to her, like, rudeness over the years. It don't even phase me. Like, she's That's her so again. funny. Your grandma is hilarious. So I'm not going to lie. My grandma's a little bit different. My grandma, I come from a Caribbean family. My grandma is, she just says whatever, like, comes to her mind. Like, not even just blunt. She will talk to you about your sex life. Like, something is wrong with her. I'm not in the mood, Grandma, to talk about coochie over Thanksgiving dinner. Not today. So. Does your grandma constantly ask you, like, when you're getting married? No. Mm-mm. She's not worried about that. My grandma doesn't ask me when I'm getting married all the time, per se, but she'll ask me, like, oh, you've been on any dates lately? And I don't even want to tell her because she's so nosy. And if I have, she's like, oh, well, bring him over. Let him meet the family. Like, I met him. Yesterday, though, <laughs> like, I'm not ready for all that. She's like, "Why? But why?" I'm like, "Sis, this is why I don't tell you nothing." And and she thinks we're dating the same era that she is. Like, she had quality men in during yeah. those times. We we were sitting through a trash box here. You yeah. know what I mean? So we can't like we're not not yeah. the same grandma. You know what I mean? She doesn't understand millennial dating. So if I'm like, "Yeah, I went out with this guy last week. Now I'm going out with somebody else." I'm she's like, week, she's like, oh. What? I didn't raise you to be a Jezebel. Like, <laughs> she's like a Paul when she hears that type of stuff, so I don't even be telling her. It is so funny. I don't even think my mom knows that I'm, you know what I mean? Like, I think they just think I'm just a really good girl. Really? Do you live under a rock? You're like, what? I mean, I don't think so. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Talking about fun time. You right. are, but like parents, as much like old school, like parents. Like, what do you think is happening here? Like, <laughs> what? They're still in that mindset, like you need to wear the skirt down to your ankles. No thanks. Yeah, my mom got on me one time because I don't wear. I don't ever wear bras. Like, I hate them. <laughs> but um, my mom one time she was visiting last year, and she was like, um, "Nikki, are you missing something?" And I'm like, looking around, I'm like, "What could I possibly be missing?" And she's, I'm like, like yeah, "Your goddamn nipples are out." You know what I mean? I'm like, "Oh, I don't ever wear bras." And then, like, my friends are like, like, ever. Like, she never wears one. I'm like, oh, goddamn. I'm like, yeah. guys. And my mom was appalled. Like, what? I'm like, I don't want to wear them, and I don't need to. Like, yeah. leave me alone. Like, yeah. Mm-mm. My aunt was trying to get my grandma on Instagram one time. <laughs> and I was like, look, that's fine, but, like, not be I'll block her. Yeah. And she was like, uh-huh. I'm like, no. Like, I'll block her. Like, I'm serious. I'm yeah. Like, because she's not about to get on there scrolling through my little bikini pics. No. And, I'm like, or she can go ahead and cry now rather than later. Correct. Or she needs it. Remember how, like, your family's trying to send to Jamaica with us? Mm-mm. No. Like, I mean, it's cool, but, like, I don't want to hear nothing. Yeah, I don't want to hear nothing. Like, we're some city girls upside down on the beach. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, me on the beach. Wearing, shaking that. Little to nothing, I don't want to hear anything. Period. I'm you know in Jamaica. Saying? That's it. <laughs> More vacation. I'm just, anytime I look at this crazy, I'm going to put my glasses on. I can't see these haters. You know what I'm saying? Because, it's like... I'm here to have fun. So, yeah, um, I would never. My mom would have fun. Like, if I took my mom to a vacation, she would have fun, but I'd be like, Mom, it's, it's 9 o'clock. It's time for you to go in. Like, you know what I mean? Because I don't want you to. Yeah. My father, if he wouldn't have it, you guys are street walkers. Like, he would he would walk on all of us collectively as a unit. A whole, a whole, whole unit. You know? Yeah, he wouldn't have it. Mm-hmm. I guess that's all the. Toxicity. Yeah, that's all we can think about today. I mean, those are the basics. I'm sure that a lot of you basic bitches <laughs> can relate to us. So, um, yeah. yeah, that's it. So, let us know what you guys' toxic traits are yourself. Um, yeah. Definitely 
either view us on YouTube, um, listen to us on Spotify or Apple Podcasts, let us know your feedback. Again, we really don't care, but <laughs> more than welcome to tell us how you do. Or tell us if I care. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Please, yes, do that. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Bye. 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 <laughs>